Alright then, and we're back with the devil and his three golden hairs. I was about to say golden three hairs, but I guess I guess you could read the sentence that way. <coughs> I'm sorry it's been a while. I was recording so much. Uh okay. Uh, let's just jump in. <coughs> that doesn't exactly look good, Damon. Presenting the devil as a thumb-sucking blonde is just the beginning of what's wrong with this tale of dumb luck seasoned with revenge. Still, it's always nice when the greedy get their just desserts. When a poor woman gives birth to a boy with a call covering his face, the midwife proudly announces its significance. At 14, this lucky stiff will marry your daughter, King. She'll be ecstatic. I'll carry him to the castle in this casket, in this, uh, box. Here's a gold coin for your trouble. Not much trouble, I dare say. The humble parents never consider refusing the king. Your luck was short-lived, boy. There'll be no pharaoh's daughter for your Moses. I'm told drowning is relatively painless. But the box floats upright. The child is rescued and raised by a miller. But when he turns 14, the king stops by the mill and sees a boy who seems somehow familiar. Is that your natural son? No, Majesty. 14 years ago, I found him in the river. He's a coal bearer, a luck tile. Ah, I see. Let the luck child take a letter to the queen. I'll give him a gold coin. Money being scarce as a rat snake's ear hole, the boy accepts a commission and sets off. On his journey, the luck child becomes utterly lost in the forest. Will he die here? No! Luck is a gratuitous compliment to the intelligent, but absolutely indispensable to the incompetent. Where are you headed, boy? So alone, so handsome, so late at night. Cool, I'm headed for your bench, lady. This letter for the Queen will have to wait. I'm lost and can't walk another step. You've happened upon a den of vicious thieves. When they return, they'll kill you just for breathing. You need some protection. Hardly. Let them come. I'm not afraid. I'm tired. Sleeping now. <clears throat> Who's this handsome stranger? Has he molested any of our goods? Mm. Oh, I wish. <laughs> no, he's taken a letter to the Queen. Mm. The King orders his boy's execution. Let's dip his hand in warm water for a lark. <laughs> we hate the king. Let's change it. The robbers substitute a marriage proposal to the princess for the death warrant, and they send him on his way, unmolested. The queen, evidently unfamiliar with her husband's handwriting, mounts a marriage between the princess and the luck child. But at the splendid wedding feast that followed, ah, the king returns! And very pissed he is. You've tricked me somehow, but not forever. To be worthy of my daughter, you must fetch from hell three golden hairs from the head of the devil. Fine. I'm not afraid of the devil. Not afraid of the devil? Well, there's a tip-off right there. In any case, he sets off. The road leads him to the gates of a village. Stop, stranger. Tell me why our fountain, which once flowed wine, no longer gives even water, and you may pass. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I know that, and I'll tell you when I return. The watchman, not the brightest star in the sky, accepts the luck child's promise 
and lets him pass, and he soon comes before a gatekeeper in another village. Stranger, why does this tree, which once bore golden apples, not even put forth leaves? Uh, hmm. Uh, yes, I know that one. And I'll tell you when I return. Well, so much for modesty. Turns out you can fool all the people all of the time. The luck child continues his journey to hell until he comes to a wide river, tended by a ferryman. Luck child, why must I always be rowing backwards and forwards and am never set free? Carry me over to the other side and I'll tell you when I return. So he crosses the water and finds the entrance to hell. Lucky for him, again, the devil is not at home, but his grandmother is. Who knew the devil had a granny? What do you want? Three golden hairs from the devil's head. What a very odd creature you are. If he finds you here, you're dead. I'll change you into an ant and you'll be safe in the folds of my dress. <laughs> Ooh. Just shush and pay attention to what the devil says when I pull out his hairs. So the devil returns, bone tired from doing whatever he does when he's out, and before long, he's fast asleep. <laughs> Granny pulls out his golden hair, one by one. Oh, damn, Granny! That's smart! What are you doing, you old butt? You want to shit heat you up? Or box your ears or otherwise abuse you? Uh, I had bad dreams, so I seized hold of your hair. And in explaining her dreams, she collects answers to the luck child's questions, along with the hairs. The luck child returns, bearing rewards for providing answers to the grateful watchman and gatekeeper. And he delivers the three golden hairs to the rapacious, insincere, and arrogant king. Excellent. You can keep my daughter, but dear son-in-law, where can I get some of that gold? Across the river. Let the ferryman take you over, and you can fill your sacks as much as you want on the other side. At the river, the greedy bastard hails the ferryman. Would you hold me all for half a mo, Gov? It's quite an imposition, but if I must, <laughs> get along with you then. Ta-ta, mate. Have a nice day. I'm off. You're on. Forever. <laughs> this was the strategy the luck child had from the devil's own lips. Worked well. So as punishment for his wickedness, the king has to row. Perhaps he's ferrying still. The luck child survives on the kindness of strangers. Should have perished ten times over as he lost his way and muddled through life. It's often said that it's better to be lucky than good, but it's not terribly satisfying. If you'd like a bit more grit with your gruel, yum, yum. Lay on! <laughs> okay, so I've actually heard this story before. I can't remember exactly what the answers were to the questions at each gate, but I know there was a frog you had to kill. I think that was the fountain one. Uh, tree one was probably something along the lines of, like, a... I don't know. A weed or something? I don't know. Yeah. It seems to have frozen. I I do not appreciate that. Being born with the placenta covering your face makes you lucky. Thankfully, superstition has no sense of decency, but it's almost gross enough to bother me. Make it stinky. Okay. Mm Do it now! Forgetting how to control Grim. Okay, here we go. Just gonna roam around a little bit. Grim's smelly! 
<sighs> okay, things and stuff and things. I'm supposed to be talking, I guess. Stop it! I shall. I shall indeed, but stop that, sir. Stop it! Stopping. <laughs> Holy mother of blood! Yeah, take that, you! You bloody gate! Oh. Oh. The king takes an immediate disliking to the bloody-headed duck child and his presumptive son-in-law and tries to drown him. This is luck, is it? Make it foul. Mm, get them. That is rather disgusting. Now I'd forgotten close. exactly how disgusting this game is. I still love it. Don't be good! Alright, alright, Grim. I haven't even left this area yet. I just I just made everything disgusting. Yes it is. Yes it is, random bystander. Fast. Ah uh, yes. It's beautiful. Like all of the little, see, like the little, little grass and the, yes, everything is beautiful. Okay. Uh. I'm obviously not gonna get lucky with this. Now, I'm just gonna scooch forward a little bit. Boop. <laughs> that squirrel, though. Thank you, squirrel. The amused luck child drifts downstream. Let's visit some of this current run of luck on others. Let's make them dead. Make it nasty. Yes, let us balance out all of the karma going on here. We have to, of course. It's it's a thing that has to be done. Because things. Oops! Shit. Waste my water. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I got this. I got this. <laughs> I got this. No, don't clean things. I missed a thing. Very yes, yes, it is. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> this, this darkness, much darkness, much wow. I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm going to come near you. I'm gonna get everything around here. Underwear that would make. Like, just thinking about it, that would be. That looks. Rolfin, stomping, busting in guns! Disgusting. Now! <laughs> drown, fools, drown! If we were in Australia, they would have drowned the other way around! <laughs> Okay then, I found all the secrets, I don't have to come back to this level. <coughs> oh. Yeah, but no, seriously. Grim's secret would be probably the best... I would buy a bra from there. I don't buy bras from Victoria's Secret, so... <laughs> but... Like, just... Just looking at the patterns on the ground, like when you change it... <coughs> if you use that... 
for like patterns of underwear, I would probably buy it. I like it would be it would be very pretty, I think. Or at least it that's just what I think. Probably just me being weird. sends him to deliver a message. I guess he never bothered to find out who threw him in a river. Don't! Let me give pay for his lack of curiosity. Fireflies! Do it now! Bloody. Do I just die? Uh, okay. I keep doing this. That's right. I forgot how to play again for a second. Lost in the forest, Lucky stumbles upon a cabin where a woman with more on her mind than evening prayers advises him to leave before her dodgy housemates return. But of course he stayed. This luck thing has gone to his head. Let's make him regret it. Make it foul. <laughs> that reminds me earlier when she said protection. I was like, oh my. It, yeah, this is going to be one of those kind of episodes <coughs> where we just, where we, the things are just weird. Grim's Goose, now. It's just going to be one of those episodes. Oh, secret. What do I spy with my piggy eye? Yeah. Oh my. Oh yes. Oh, the cute little fireflies. Come back. Okay. Make everything disgusting again. Now it's just a rat. Or some kind of bee. I don't know. And the squirrel is another cleaner. You're going to need some protection. <laughs> Stop it good. Yep. Definitely not much. Yeah. Okay. But he's only 14 years old. Eh. Fucking disgusting. Butt stomping. Oh, ew. I mean, really. Although seriously though, she lives with a bunch of thieves. Why is she upset that the kiddo didn't, um, she lives with a band of thieves. You, you'd think that she has enough of that in her life, I'd assume. Lucky indeed. He stumbles into marrying the princess. This guy isn't lucky. He's just annoying. I hate weddings.
Now look look at this bush color. Imagine having a bra or possibly lingerie that was in the, that shape. Or um, pattern. 